What's going on guys? It's Hank from Spruce and Brews Scale Modeling and I'm coming to you today with some very exciting Tamiya news that I definitely think you should be excited about. I know I am for one specific reason and I'll tell you all about it in just a second. So if you haven't been scoping out the Tamiya blogs for whatever reason, you might not have seen the awesome releases they have planned for 2022. But just the other day, the Tamiya Japan Instagram account reposted some images of one of these upcoming kits that I'm particularly excited about. And that kit is their 148 scale Lockheed P-38J Lightning. Now, when Tamiya released their first take on the P-38 back in 2019 in the form of the FG model, it quickly became one of the most sought after 148 scale aircraft kits on the market. Tamiya is known for their industry leading engineering and phenomenal fit right out of the box. They're practically shake and bake kits. And this 38 was no exception. They nailed the complexities of the twin boom design and it was just lovely. So if you haven't picked one of these up yet, I highly, highly recommend it. And a couple of years ago, they came out with a limited edition H version of the Lightning that was equally lovely, though I haven't gotten my hands on one of those yet. So when these first two kits came out, a lot of people were speculating and hoping that Tamiya would follow them up with a P38J. And this year, we're finally getting one. Now you might be asking, why should we be excited about another P38 from Tamiya? We've already got two. Well, first of all, the J is the second most widely produced variant of the Lightning. It featured squared off supercharger intakes and a flatter bulletproof windscreen. So without some significant modifications, you can't replicate a J model using the previous two Tamiya sets. But the biggest reason that I'm excited about this kit, believe it or not, is the decal offering. And you're probably thinking, oh, Hank, decals from Tamiya are terrible. And yeah, they can definitely be frustrating. But when I was looking at the Instagram post from Tamiya last night, I realized that the decal assortment that's going to come out with this kit is actually really, really good. Now, the few sample images that are going around of this kit have it built up in a natural metal finish, which is exciting enough in itself. All the schemes for the FG and H kits were in olive drab, so this is our first bare aluminum lightning from Tamiya. But those sample images also show a pinup photo in the name Marge on the nose of the aircraft, and if you don't know, that particular P-38 was piloted by none other than Richard Ira Bong, a Medal of Honor recipient and the highest scoring American ace of the Second World War with 40 confirmed victories in the Pacific Theater of Operations. And that in itself is fantastic. I think the chance to build up Bong's aircraft is a selling point in itself for this kit. We've seen the Marge scheme before, most recently I think with Revel's 1992 offering of the P-38J, but now we're getting this scheme paired with Tamiya's cutting edge engineering, which is just fantastic. But believe it or not, the Bong scheme isn't actually why I'm so excited about those decals. I hadn't gotten a chance to give the decal sheet a close inspection before yesterday, and I was so excited to see that the other two schemes are also top scoring American aces from World War II. And not just any aces. These are the number two and number three highest scoring USAAF aces during the war in the Pacific. So with this kit, we're getting the ability to make either the first, second, or third highest scoring USAAF aces of the PTO. How cool is that? On top of the Marge scheme, the second aircraft that I was able to identify from the decal sheet photo was Pudgy 5, which was flown by Thomas McGuire Jr. Now, McGuire was the second highest scoring American ace of the war, with 38 confirmed Japanese aircraft knocked down. Unfortunately, he didn't survive the war and was killed in action on January 7th, 1945. He was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor in the spring of 1946. The third and final scheme that we're going to be able to make with this kit looks like it's going to be Putt-Putt Maru, which was flown by Charles McDonald with the 475th Fighter Group. McDonald finished the war with 27 victories, also all in the Pacific, and was tied for the fifth most American victories of the war with P-47 Thunderbolt pilot Robert S. Johnson over in the European theater. This also makes him the number three overall USAAF ace of the Pacific theater. So all in one kit, we're getting three fantastic marking options for these beautiful natural metal finished P-38Js. Two Medal of Honor recipients and 105 victories between the three men. So. Bravo, Tamiya. Consider me interested. And just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by Tamiya in any way. I'm just stoked to get my hands on this legendary aircraft. So keep your eyes peeled for this exciting new offering from Tamiya. It's going to be kit number 61123. Still no word on when to expect it to start hitting retailers, but I'm sure we're going to find out as soon as it does. And in the meantime, if you'd like to check out this Tamiya P-38G that I built up as the aircraft that shot down Japanese Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, you can learn more about that right here. So until next time, guys, be well, happy building. 